OK, so in this video, we're going to look at introducing sigma notation. Now, sigma, capital sigma, is this symbol here. OK, so it's a capital Greek letter, which we use to represent a sum. OK, so the Greek letter sigma, we mean as a sum. In which case, we really mean add them all up, effectively, OK? So what this is telling me is I want to add up all of 2r minus 3 when r is 1 to 3, OK? So let's take this step by step. What it is effectively saying is it wants me to substitute in r is 1, 2, and then up to 3, and then add them all together. So I will have 2 times 1 take away 3. That's me substituting in 1. Then I substitute in 2, so 2 times 2 minus 3. And then I substitute in 3. OK? So I've actually got... 2 take away 3, so minus 1, plus 4 take away 3, so 1, and then 6 take away 3, so 3, and, oh sorry, plus 3, and that will just get me 3. So, effectively, what it is saying is substitute in all of the whole numbers between and including 1 and 3, and then add all the results together. OK, that is what sigma notation tells us to do. Let's have a look at another example. Let's say we had um, the sum of, um, let's have uh, 2 over r this time. And r is equal to 2 to 5. OK? So I'm going to get my calculator ready for this. So this is telling me to substitute in the whole numbers from 2 to 5 into this and then add all the results together. So I'll have 2 over 2, so that's substituting in 2, plus 2 over 3, plus 2 over 4, and then plus 2 over 5, stopping at 5, OK? And I just want to add all of these together. So I get 2 over 2, plus 2 thirds, plus 2 quarters, plus 2 fifths, and that gets me 77 over 30. OK? So effectively, uh, sigma notation is a shorthand that allows me to write down uh, sums without having to expand them all out, OK? So, in other words, I, I can change these numbers to be whatever I like. So I could change this from 2 to 500, for example, OK? Without having to actually write out the second one all the way to the 500th one and adding them all together, OK? So it's a nice, succinct, shorthand notation um, that we can use from here on to represent a sum.